Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Adam, this is my channel Adam Sews, and this is Friday Sews that everyone has been waiting for for two weeks because I've been so hectic busy with moving. So as you can see, I am in my new sewing room. It is 99% unpacked. My wall of Tula has been recreated. I also have another wall of Tula over the other side, which I will show you in a new sewing room studio tour which will be coming out hopefully at the beginning of next week and I wanted to go through some of the things that have arrived in the process of moving some of them have come to the new house some of them have come to the old house luckily we've still got the old house for a little while so I can still go and collect mail from it um and yeah I just thought I'd go through what's been happening so it's been quite hectic I'm not gonna lie I didn't think it was gonna be as bad as it was it took a whole van just to move just my sewing room. If you can hear the dogs in the background, I apologise. They do like to have a little mooch around in my sewing room. They seem to really like the fact that it's bigger and that there's more space in there for them to run around and irritate each other. Um, well, I say irritate each other, play with each other. Um, so what have I been doing? Um, I have actually sewn something since I've been in here, which, believe it or not, is probably one of the smallest things I think I've ever sewn, which is a little um, scrappy mug rug sort of coasters that I've started making. These are Quilt As You Go, um, just made from some thermo batting scraps that I've got and some of my scrap bin from my Tudor fabrics. Um, as we have a new coffee table, so I wanted to make some mug rug coasters to go on there that are a little bit nicer than just your standard ones that you buy from a shop. Um, I've also got some other um, exciting news but I'm going to release that in another video which is an unboxing of something new. Um, some of you might have seen little sneak peeks of it on Instagram and different things but I will keep that one a secret for now. Um, so what have I had turn up? So as you can see in this video here, so I have just received a parcel in the post and I don't actually know what it is and there's not many things that I've actually signed up to with my new address yet. I have ordered some stuff a couple of days ago but I don't think it's that. So we shall see what it is. Let me try and find some scissors that I can actually get into it with. I don't know what it could be. Oh, I'm going to end up cutting my face in a minute with these scissors. There we go. All right, let's get in. Let's get in and see what it is. So it is, let's have a look, shall we? There's a lovely card. I hope you're getting settled into your new home and enjoying the new sewing space, sewing room. Here are a couple of things I thought you might like with the flowers. With those flowers, all I can see is spiders and I thought I could cut it up into smaller pieces and I thought you would make more out of use out of it. Mandy, oh, it's from lovely Mandy. Thank you, Mandy. So she sent me some of the Tula from Raw, which I agree, it does look a little bit spidery. I thought personally that this looked like the flowers that were in Jumanji, the ones that she got thingy in the neck with. And then there is this beautiful fabric in here, which is a beautiful K-facet fabric, which I may kindly gift to my lovely husband because he loves cave. He doesn't treat himself to much and I think that he'll really like this to go in his cave stash if that's all right. And then these are homemade interlocking heart EPPs. I have never seen these and they come with all the EPP papers to sew them together which is just awesome. I'm thrilled with these. I'm going to have a go at these later on this evening, I hope. Um, oh, they're so pretty. I didn't even know these existed. So thank you so much. I will... Um, these are going to show on my new pegboard. And I will work on these when I find the perfect thing. Although, the fact that they're part of a homemade range, I may have to cut out some of the homemade flowers because I've got some little offcuts that have got all of these on them. And because they're nice and tiny... I can get it out of scrap. So thanks very much. 
so I had a lovely parcel from Mandy and I'm very grateful for it and those little EPP um, hearts from Trula Homemade, as I said in the video, I've never seen them before, I'm super excited to use them um, and Darren is very very happy with his little K-Fat quarter to go with his stash downstairs. Um, so yeah, that was one of the things that turned up this week. One of the other things that turned up this week was some beautiful um, fabrics by um, from Fabrics by Penny Community Group on Facebook. She managed to get hold of some really, really bargain um, licensed fabrics, um, which are this one here, which is a Wizard of Oz fabric. I had some of this a little while ago and I used it to make my mum a KitchenAid mixer using the in the stand, take a stand, under the stand, undercover, I can't remember, it's a Biani pattern, in the mix is what it's called, undercover is the sewing machine, take a stand is the bag that goes around with scissors. So I got a hold of some of this one, I got two metres of that, these were only five pounds a metre which is unheard of, um, and the second one is this beautiful um, Wizard of Oz, and it's got the witch and the flying monkeys on it. So yeah, I was super excited about those. I think, let me just double check. I think that is the bin men already, which is a bit of a weird one because they don't normally come on a Friday. So they may turn up in my videos from now on. Um, the other thing that I got from Fabrics by Penny was some interfacing. This is a woven interfacing, which is very, very similar to Violing G700. Um, it is a woven interfacing. It's really, really nice quality. It bonds really, really well. And this is like, ridiculously reasonably priced at something like four pounds something a metre which normally woven interface and retails at sort of three times the price so I will link that down below I believe she's still got quite a bit of this so if you wanted to go and purchase any the link for the Facebook group will be down below um, it is UK and Ireland based only Oh, I think Ireland is part of the UK I can't remember um, so yeah if you need any woven interfacing I personally um, I don't use anything other than woven interfacing anymore because I can't bear the papery stuff because it doesn't bond properly. If it does bond, if you heat it up too much, it then shrinks and contracts and ruins your whole entire project. Um, and it delaminates and comes away from the fabric if you wash it. So if you're using anything for garment sewing or anything that's likely to be washed, synthetic um, sort of paper backed interfacing just seems to peel off and it's just, it's naff basically. Um, I mean, it has its uses, but if you're going to use anything that is of a decent quality, a woven interfacing is better because it mimics the fabric that you're bonding it to half the time as well. So if you're using anything that's got sort of um, a bit of drape to it as well, you'll still get a little bit of flex with the woven interfacing because it is a fabric that you're bonding to your project. Um, so I don't really know what else to talk to you about today other than the fact that I've moved. Um, I've got my setup almost how I want it. Um, I'm really looking forward to getting in here and actually getting some sewing done. I've got a quilt that I need to quilt today um, because it is a birthday gift. Um, I'm going to be um, loading up the quilt frame very soon. I should be able to actually get my quilt frame in my new sewing room rather than having to have it in the um, lounge where I used to have to set it up in my previous house and then I used to have to quilt the, frame, uh, quilt, the quilt in one day, get it done and then I had to then dismantle the frame and put it away because it was just in the way. So now I should be able to actually set it up in here, quilt as much as I want to quilt, take a break, it's not in the way and then I can come back to it later on in the day. So that is what I'm my plan is today. So the first thing that I'm going to be doing is quilting a whole entire quilt on the quilt frame, which is a little bit of a undertaking um, considering that I've literally not really sewn anything other than a mug coaster since I've been here. Um, I just wanted to say a massive thank you to everyone that's given me a message to say good luck with moving I hope that and sent um, nice sort of like happy home messages. Um, I really appreciate it and I really appreciate you all sticking with me um, even though I haven't put a video out for two weeks. Um, I wanted to sort of touch on a few different things as well. Um, I am going to be releasing some new PDFs over the new, next few months. Um, I've got a lot that are partially written that I'm going to finish writing. That is my main task. I'm off on annual leave next week. Um, and that is my project for next week is to get at least one of my new PDFs written. Um, I will be filming a two, full tutorial for that from start to finish, which will be able to be sort of sped up and slowed down if you wish to. Um, if you do want to purchase the new pattern. 
Um, I'm going to be filming that though as a private video, so there will be an embedded link into the PDF which you can access it with purchase of the PDF. Um, so that is quite exciting. I'm really, really looking forward to that pattern launching. I think it's going to be a real good pattern that people are really going to sort of sink their teeth into and really like. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much it. I have got my, um, I'm going to give you a little sneak peek. I have managed to get my um, Tula pictures up. I've got my pegboard up behind me, which has got all of my Tula and everything on there. Um, and I've managed to find a home for my Tula ribbons here along the front of that other Kallax. I've also got a huge stack, let me find them, which are down here. I also have a huge stack. Ooh! of fabrics that I'm going to be de-stashing. A lot of these are felts for um, sort of um, craft projects. There's some really, really beautiful um, character French terries and different things. Um, there's a big bundle of interface in here, which I'm going to gift to my lovely friend Claire from Stitch and Sew. So, um, and yeah, I've still got quite a lot to do in here. There's quite a lot of things that need clearing up. There's a lot of things that need sorting and there's a lot of things that need recycling or rehoming because I have taken this opportunity to realise that after living in the last house for seven years, there is way too much stuff. And one person, well, two people, do not need that much stuff. So I will talk to you very soon. I will check in with you again over the weekend. I'm hoping to do a live at some point and I will speak to you all. So take care for now. Bye. Mm -hmm.